Zion Williamson today had surgery to correct a torn meniscus in his right knee. He will miss six to eight weeks. What is your reaction to this bombshell? It is a bombshell, Tony, and it's just, it's, it's not tragic, six to eight weeks, okay? But it's a downer to come, you know, on the eve of the start of the NBA season, which does begin tomorrow. And we're all looking forward to seeing Zion in the, in the, in the pros, let's face it. But for somebody like me, who remembers Derrick Rose, I mean, it was a little later, it wasn't first year in his career, but he had a knee injury which just changed his career and sort of the, the, that of his franchise. And you look at these knee injuries, when you weigh that much, 285 pounds, and Wilt was about 275 in the old days, those guys operated in a small space around the basket. Now you got 280-pound guys like Zion out on the perimeter, running, cutting. I don't know that their bodies and their knees and feet were made for that, and we're going to find out about space and pace and whether it makes sense at that size. It's just it's a downer. I don't think you can do anything with this story except comment on his size. He weighs 280 pounds, and he jumps higher straight up than David Thompson did. So when he lands, he lands with unbelievable force that yep. has to be absorbed by his legs. Yep. I mean, everybody wants to see him. He's the first guy since LeBron that everybody, everybody is jacked up about, and you wonder, what is his long-term health? So let's welcome in Adrian Wojnarowski on this one. Adrian, on Thursday, the team said Zion had right knee soreness. Here we are four days later. Surgery for a torn meniscus. Out six to eight weeks. What more can you tell us about the team's approach to the injury? Well, the team, uh, you know, had Zion Williamson examined, uh, you know, by multiple doctors, and uh, his imaging was uh, re-examined, and, you know, they... Uh, very quickly had identified the meniscus, uh, the meniscus tear um, as the injury. They waited a few days um, before announcing the meniscus for him to have the surgery, which he did today. Uh, and there's optimism that he's going to make a full recovery on this injury. There are a lot of players uh, who've had this who come back at full strength uh, immediately. And obviously they're going to be cautious with the timeline on his return, but I'm told, you know, that six to eight week is, is going to be the range uh, for uh, Williamson to make his Pelicans uh, regular season debut. It's good that they have optimism, but you have to wonder what the level of concern is at this point about his knees overall, because from Duke to Summer League and now the preseason, this is the third knee problem before playing an official NBA game. Well, the Summer League... Uh, when they shut him down, I think they called it a knee. He was not in great shape uh, at that time, and, and they were certainly being careful uh, as he got some weight down from that point on. Um, you know, certainly the knee injury last year at Duke uh, when, the, when his sneaker blew out uh, and he was lost for part of that season uh, was a legitimate injury. But, um, listen, I think with Zion Williamson this time away now, uh, he's got to continue to stay, uh, keep his weight down, stay in condition. Uh, that's certainly been a priority for the Pelicans since they drafted him. He is an explosive athlete. He puts tremendous uh, pressure uh, on those uh, lower, the lower leg areas, the knees. And, you know, that's going to be something as an organization uh, they know they've got to monitor with him. And, and this is a highly motivated player, a disciplined player, and uh, I don't think there's any question uh, about his willingness to do what he needs to do over the next six weeks to two months uh, to come back healthy. He averaged 23 points and six rebounds in the preseason, and you know, what was that kind of production is going to be hard to replace once the games begin. Thanks, Adrian. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For highlights and analysis, check out the ESPN app, and for live streaming and premium content, check out ESPN+.